to share with you how to make this adorable mailbox for the classroom for Valentine's. You're going to need some foam glue, a glue gun, a sheet of 6x12 smooth foam, some red felt, scissors, and a piece of poster board. So all this stuff you can readily find at the uh, craft store. So take the label off the smooth foam and paint it red with a foam paintbrush. Now I had painted this smooth foam a beige color on a couple of the sides. Um, I'm just going to paint over that with the red so that I can have it all be my nice same red color. Set that aside to dry. Now while that's drying you're going to trim your poster board to 12 by 23. Then you're going to lay it on a piece of felt and you want to trim around the felt so it's got about maybe an inch and a half around uh, each side, an inch and a half extra around all sides. Use the glue gun to glue the poster board onto the piece of felt and then you're going to trim uh, the edges of that poster board by folding the felt around it. Add a line of glue around each edge and then fold the felt around the poster board. Next you're going to add a line of glue to the side of the 6x12 a piece of smooth foam. Push that down onto one end of the uh, poster board strip and then repeat with the other side. So this is going to make that folded over top for the mailbox. Next trim off any excess felt that hangs out from the bottom of the mailbox and you'll be ready for the next step. So now we're going to make the doors. Um, before, if you find that the felt is loose anymore, go ahead and add a little bit more glue to hold all of those pieces down. So to make the door, you're going to need a 6 by 12 piece of chipboard. You're going to lay the uh, mailbox on top, trace it with a pencil, and then cut out that door. And then you'll use that to make a pattern for the second door. So you need a door on the front and a door on the back. Cut those out. Then you're going to hot glue them to a strip, a scrap or a piece of felt. Trim around so it has about one inch of extra felt around the edges. And then notch the curved side and then use the hot glue gun to uh, wrap the edge of the felt around the chipboard. Again, just like we did with the poster board, this is going to give everything a nice soft finished edge, which is really, really good for the kids when they're handling this. You can do this for both of the doors and then you're going to cut a piece to cover the inside. So I just used my uh, door to kind of measure a piece of this cute polka dot felt to put on the inside and then I trimmed it just slightly smaller so it fit inside. Once I had one done I cut out a second one from another piece of felt because you got to have a front and a back door. Use the hot glue gun then to glue that inner piece right there on the door to give it all a nice finished look. Next we're going to add the little ribbon strip that's going to go on the top of the door so that it will close. So just add a little bead of hot glue there, put a loop of ribbon and then finish that off with a cute button. Then you're going to add some glue to that flap that hangs out of the bottom of the door. Um, we didn't fold that up and glue it so you want to leave that flap open. So you could attach the doors to the bottom of the piece of smooth foam for the mailbox. Next I painted a smooth foam star with some acrylic paint and while it was wet I sprinkled some clear snap glitter all over the uh, star and uh, what's nice is the paint kind of acts like a glue. I'm using a stick pin to kind of hold that. Uh, star while I glitter it. Next I marked where the uh, top of the loops are going to be on the top of the mailbox and glued some beads there, some big beads, so that it would hold the mailbox doors open or hold the mailbox doors closed. Next I glued some 1 by 12 strips of chipboard together with the glue gun and then I wrapped that in some black felt. This is going to be the little flag that goes on the side of the mailbox. This is totally just decorative but um, I decided to build it with some chipboard. You could also use cardboard and then uh, wrap it with felt and then glue it to the side of the mailbox. Next glue on the star to the top of that so that's going to be the flag and then I'm going to cut some hearts out here to decorate the mailbox. So this is just some hearts out of Kooning Group felt. Um, I chose a shade darker and a shade lighter than the felt that I already had for the mailbox so that it would kind of stand out. And then uh, kind of position them on the mailbox all just random and hot glue them on. You could decorate this with any kind of shapes. So just use your Sizzix machine to die cut out the shapes from felt and you can decorate it however you want whether it's for a boy or girl uh, whatever so I just use the same foam glue this is a foam hot glue I use that for the whole project 
um, it worked for all of the different pieces. So I hope that you enjoyed this project. Uh, here's Matthew looking really cute with it. It's a super fun and easy way to make a Valentine's mailbox for the classroom that's adorable. And you could use it as a centerpiece or put it on your mantle, etc. until actual Valentine's Day is here. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button here at the end. And you can click on the video that's playing to see another DIY craft tutorial here at Hydrangea Hippo. Bye.